singing is God is listening. And it's all about how no matter the struggles you're going through, no matter the hardships, God is always our foundation and he loves us no matter what. He knows you, he loves you, and he's always listening. Let's sing this together. Repeat after me. He knows you. that piece can go there. It's the whole wrong color. Hmm, and, wait a minute. Is that an edge piece? I thought I already had all the edge piece. <sighs> Hold on, okay. Hi, Pop Kids. I'm trying to put this puzzle together, but I don't have the box that the puzzle came in. It was just in this bag when I found it in my closet, and I don't remember what the picture's supposed to look like. Looking at these pieces, it could be a zoo? or a pumpkin? I don't know. This is really, really hard. But, you know, I'm not going to get discouraged because sometimes life just feels like this. We can get into situations where it's tough to make decisions or, or deal with it when bad things happen because we can't see the whole picture. And the pieces we're holding at the moment look pretty confusing and don't seem to fit together. It can be really easy to give up, and believe me, I'd like to launch this puzzle off a cliff right now, but I won't, because I remember the story of Lazarus. It's a story about some friends of Jesus who found themselves in a situation that felt really confusing, kind of like my puzzle, until Jesus filled in the missing pieces for them. Let's check it out while I try to finish this. So Jesus and his friends had been teaching in Jerusalem, but the leaders there, who were called the Pharisees, were really angry about the way that Jesus' ideas were shaking up their town. They wanted to keep their power, so they decided to chase Jesus out of town. Well, Jesus and his friends made it safely out of Jerusalem, and they crossed the Jordan River, and they caught almost a hundred miles away, so they were feeling pretty safe at last. But then, they got a message with some really bad news. They were friends with a family that had two sisters and a brother and the sisters' names were Mary and Martha. You might remember them from some other really good Bible stories. Mary and Martha sent a message to Jesus that their brother Lazarus was really, really sick. In fact, they thought he might be dying. They asked Jesus to come to their house as fast as he could because they knew that Jesus could heal their brother and save him from dying. But when Jesus got the message, the disciples really did not want to go. They had a pretty good reason, too. Mary and Martha lived really close to Jerusalem. 
and the disciples had just barely escaped Jerusalem the last time they were there. After you get kicked out of town by a bunch of angry Pharisees throwing rocks at you, believe me, you're in no hurry to go back. So they were probably pretty relieved when Jesus said, no, Lazarus' sickness won't end in death. Instead, this sickness has happened to bring glory to God. That was probably also a little confusing for the disciples. But then a lot of things that Jesus said confused the disciples at first. They could tell there was a piece missing from that puzzle somewhere. Why would Jesus say that a bad sickness could bring glory to God? Well, they hung around at their new camp for a few more days. But then on the third day, Jesus brought out the really bad news. He told the disciples that it was time to head back to Jerusalem eek, to see their buddy Lazarus because he needed healing. The disciples were not pleased. They said, but Jesus, you told us his sickness wouldn't end in death. So why do we have to go back and heal him? And Jesus replied, that's not quite what I said. The truth is, Lazarus isn't just sick. While we were waiting here, he has died. But I'm glad this happened because now you will see something that will help you believe my promises. The disciples were super confused now because Jesus had told them before Lazarus' sickness wouldn't end in death. But now he had died? What could this mean? Good thing the disciples trusted Jesus and they knew that there were more pieces to this puzzle than they could see at the moment. So they traveled with him back to Mary and Martha's home to try and see the whole picture. By the time they got there, Lazarus had already been dead and buried for four whole days. Now in those days, buried didn't mean quite what it means today. It just meant that they put his body in a tomb, which is sort of a special room in an underground building to keep it safe. Lots of people came to gather outside the tomb to pray and to comfort Lazarus' sisters. When Jesus got there, Mary and Martha ran to him and told him they were really sad he hadn't been able to come sooner because he definitely could have healed Lazarus and saved him from dying. But then Jesus said something else that didn't make sense at the time. He said, your brother will rise again. At first, Martha thought Jesus meant that someday she would see her brother again, when all people get to see each other again in heaven. But Jesus did not mean that. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? And Martha said, yes, Lord, I believe you. And then Jesus did something surprising yet again. He went right up to Lazarus' tomb and he told his friends to open it up. As you can imagine, they did not want to do that because it was kind of a scary sounding idea to open up a tomb. But Jesus said, if you believe me, you will see the glory of God. They did as Jesus said, even though they were pretty scared to do it. At first, Jesus prayed to God. And then he yelled out in a really loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And while everyone was looking at Jesus and feeling very confused, Lazarus came walking out of the tomb, looking healthy and good as new. He had been dead for real, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned him to life to help the disciples and all the people there to see with their own eyes that God can do amazing things. Ooh, yeah, that's where that one goes. Now, we can't assume that just because God can do incredible, powerful things, God will always do them every time. But that's not what's important about this story. What's important is that we remember that sometimes when we think we're looking at a sad situation, like when Lazarus died, we're only seeing some of the pieces of the puzzle. But God sees the whole puzzle. And because God loves us, there's a good chance that somewhere, some of the missing pieces that we can't see will fill in the rest of the picture in the days ahead so that we can understand more about why something sad happened or how we can learn from it. Because our God is so loving and so powerful, we can trust God just like Mary and Martha and the disciples did. Whatever the puzzle looks like right now, there are more pieces left for us to find in the future. And when we're finally able to see the whole picture, it will be beautiful. Like this one. Check it out. 
It's you! It's all my favorite Pop Kids superheroes dressed up for Superhero Week. Aww. Let's pray. Dear God, you are so powerful. It's amazing to hear how Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. Thank you for reminding us that you're here with us today and you're always working in our lives in big ways. When bad things happen, help us remember that you have the power to make something good come out of any situation. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Amen.